Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Caution Manic, man. It's seven. Uh, and Battlefield 2412 Beta is out. I'm playing the early access. This is my review of one and my first impressions and how I feel about the game and how I feel about everybody else feeling about the game. Alright, so first and foremost, I'm loving the beta. Like, besides the issues and all that stuff, it's not really a problem. It's the beta. That's what I expect. You should expect it too. It's the beta. A lot of people act like they fucking stupid. Like, this isn't the beta. Like, this is the full game. Like some of y'all been playing games for the longest, and still have like still have issues, and y'all still play. Y'all don't need devs to work upon it. It's only certain games you should have like concerns about. Should you get a refund back? Stuff like that. Mainly just like if a, if a game has skill based matchmaking or cyberpunk stuff like that. But multiplayer wise, like these games get they, they get patched, worked on, and they just get they, they just become a whole different game down the line. But still, if you want to get a refund, get your money back, cash pre order, that's on you. I'm not doing that shit. People just gonna like, like, this is what's gonna happen. Alright. People that cancel their pre order yeah, and all the other stuff, they're gonna see people playing the game. They're gonna watch Battlefield streamers or Call of Duty Vanguard streamers, whatever game it is, for whatever game they're playing, a cancel pre order. Alright, they're gonna see the person playing it. They're gonna blow, I cancel my pre order. And they're gonna see somebody slaying out, have fun making clips, highlights, reels, and all that other shit. He was like, oh shit, should I, damn, this game look really good, should I, should I consider buying it, catch my pre-order, should I get it now, is it better? And somebody be like, oh, we haven't really changed much, they just did this and that. And like, now you impressed, because you see somebody slaying out, now you going to get the game again, which is stupid, a lot of people just do that damn ass shit. Like, if you want to cancel your pre-order because you don't, because you ain't enjoy the beta, like I said, that's on you, you can do that, you can finish your money, your, you know what I'm saying, your choices. But still in all, don't be like everybody else just like joining the bandwagon and just judging the game like based off the beta, like especially on multiplayer. Cause like, bro, I don't know if y'all remember BF5 was horrible during the beta. It wasn't like horrible, but it was playable. But it wasn't like the best. They had issues, bugs. You it, know, it it's a beta. It's not gonna. It's not meant to be tested for like, like full. Like I'm gonna say, it, it's not the full potential of the game. It's just like. A prototype version. Yes, there's still some elements in the game that will be in the core, the core game. Yes, that's that's true. You feel me? Like, who don't know that shit? But still, down the line, they work on the game and they finishing the game, they touching up on the game. This ain't the finished product. Like, you can't judge. Can't you can't judge something based on like the prototype of it? It's just a, a prototype. It's not the finished product. Now, Cyberpunk 20, 20, um, 77. That's a different story. You can judge that bit. It is what it is, bro. Ain't no shaking back from that, but still, most I play games, the story mode games are completely different. Now, story mode games, I don't know why they didn't. I mean, I ain't even gonna talk about 27 or something, but that's on Cyberpunk, you feel me? But Battlefield, man, they have a history of like releasing the game. The beta be alright, have bugs, issues, just like any other beta. Then the game come out, it be alright straight. Then they fix it and work on it down the line, like give it a month or two or three months. The game be great, run it properly, they have solved the issues. But every game have issues. Like Apex Legends is a free to play battle royale game. They be have issues every update. They crash. People still playing. Warzone. Is it still up in beta? They say it's still in beta. Before that, it's one of the two. That be have the most hackers I have ever seen. And people are still putting money towards the game. You can't get no refund back from that shit. You feel me? Y'all still purchasing stuff. You still playing it. It's crazy. You feel me? <laughs> But can't say I pre order if y'all want to, that's all y'all man. <laughs> but me, I'm enjoying it, babe. I've been having fun making reels. It look graphically impressive on the PS4. I'm still on the last gym, get a PS5. I wanna get a P uh a PC, but that's all in due time. I'll probably get a PS5 if I get a PS4. But otherwise like graphic graphically wise, the game looks amazing. It feel amazing. It sound nice. I like the new hit indicators, hit marker and all that stuff. Uh, I know they're gonna change some stuff down the line too, so that's why I'm not really worried about what I'm seeing and playing right now during the beta. Like if I have to get a, a rating, it would be it would be a seven, cause it's the beta. That's why I'm rating the beta, not the full game. When the full game come out and a month pass or two months, three months pass, this might give my full official um rating. But regardless of the fact, you know what I'm saying, like. Like, some people trying to compare this beta to like Warzone, I don't know how, I mean, like probably like movement wise, yeah, 
It's smooth, feel fast, feel like an updated BF5 in my opinion though. And I play and watch people play Warzone, so I mean like I mean, we have a FOV slider and it's a big map so I guess that's why people compare it to Warzone, but they only play Call of Duty and Warzone. So that's what they could compare it to, but it's two different games. One's better yeah, others most popular. One been out, other one came out not too long ago. So I guess you could feel like that, but like the graphics are so nice. PS5 look better, PC look amazing. Then they got the Nvidia filter. So that's that. Like the tornado don't really mess up my game. Like some people say oh, we might have a frame rate drop issues or might crash with the tornado come in. Mm, I haven't experienced that at all. It looks very good. I like how battlefield is just changing, but not like not changing all the way. Like it's still look like battlefield three and four. But we're just like updated Battlefield 5 graphics. You know what I'm saying? And like Battlefield 5 movement. And like some people have got hired from Call of Duty on like to, um, to EA Dice and all that. So that's why I could say it kind of does resemble a little bit of Kai, but not really. But you look at Vanguard. Vanguard is basically Battlefield 5 with the damn um, game modes and shit. But the mode they have Blix. Blix is just all out. Like everybody, like 16, 16, 14, 14, 14, 20, 14, 20. It's battlefield, large scale battles. That's battlefield. <laughs> it's bat Vanguard is basically battlefield five, bro. And Call of Duty is basically just like a battlefield with some car implements in it, but not really. Like they ain't changed the game up too much to it. You just lose it identity. They just took two good elements, but it took a couple of elements from each other game and implemented it to the. Um, to their game and it really worked like Vanguard is really it looks nice in my opinion some people don't like it some um some card niggas don't like it some better for people don't like it I like it it's pretty dope I was slaying out but really I slept out in any damn game really if I try it and some people like the boomers they don't like this um beta for battlefield they say if they play like Call of Duty but is that really a bad thing I mean it's still battlefield look like battlefield sound like battlefield it's just the movement is different. That's the only thing that is similar to like card. It's the movement. More smoother and crisp. And like yeah, you could bunny hop, you could do all the other shit. I don't plan on doing none of it because this is not Call of Duty, you see me? And like <laughs> Like I don't I don't know what to say man, but <laughs> just in general, bro, I'm just enjoying the beta. I know down the line it'll be better. Like I like how they got these specialists, these abilities, these things. It's very innovative. It's very different. The map. I'm on PS4, so I'm playing, I'm playing on a smaller version of the map. So I really like it. A lot of other people who are on PC and PS5, next gen, say they don't really like the their version of the map. It says it's too big. So I'm guess we not really missing out last gen, you feel me? So I mean when I am playing, you see the gameplay is all action. Like I'm doing my thing. Like action is there I could really find people close like find them within a couple of seconds it's not really hard I'm not traveling that far and when, when I do travel it's not it don't seem that long because I got max up um FOV um so it's like it's at 100 it's at 100 right now so I'm getting from place to place kind of quick and they got vehicles so I'm not really tripping on that and stuff but my man mm, I'm liking the baby that's all I gotta say like, to basically summarize it up I'm liking the beta, I'm loving the beta, it's fun. Wish they had more guns I could use, wish they had another map I could use. I don't plan on casting my pre-order, I'm planning on sticking through it, grinding the game, and just like being positive. A lot of people who say they don't like the beta, that's on them, they don't have to like the game. Man, I mean it sucks for them, but I'm enjoying it. But it's my initial review. Uh, drop a like, hit the sub button if you feel like you like it too. If you don't, drop a dislike, whatever. I'm out this mug. Peace. You know how I'm coming. You know exactly how I'm coming. It don't stop. This shit don't stop.